Sports Life and Hip Hop, Ricky Suede. Yo, it's Zeke, what up? Yo, today we got a special guest. We got Chicago's own Neo Gang. In Gang We Trust, got a new project out. Go all ahead. streaming platforms. All streaming platforms. Go ask them a couple of questions, have some fun. Stay tuned, subscribe. Subscribe, 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 more importantly. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Sports Life and Hip Hop, Ricky Suede. Yo, Zeke. We got a special guest today. We got Neo Gang. Yo. <laughs> and gang we trust all platforms, yo. Yes, like West Side's finest. Yes, West, sir. Uh, West, coming out of West Side, right? Yeah. Uh uh. I, I, I got I got an initial question. <laughs> yeah. we, I got an initial question. I'm gonna start off. We are it's kinda lighthearted. I'm gonna start off, but okay. like we always ask people from Chicago. We got people from around. Um, do you dislike Southsiders, by the way? No, I, I, I love South Side. Because <laughs> yeah, nah. some, some West Siders don't even like to go. A lot of different answers. Nah. Yeah, a lot of different answers. Real talk. No, because no cap, though. It's just like, because I'm kind of like from everywhere. It's kind of because, mm. like, oh, okay. really, like, I'm from the West Side, uh, born and raised in the West Side. Mm -hmm. Even even like the West Suburbs. Like, I moved out to the West Suburbs and I was staying out there for a while, too. Okay. But then a lot of my music career, I was out South. Like, I told you before the interview, I was mm -hmm. telling, uh, bro, like, uh, I met Rio and Space and uh, everybody like at the studio on 76 and Stewart. Oh, okay. I used to stay in there, like live in there, oh. like sleep up in that joint okay. just because I liked it to work so much. So, mm -hmm. like, I was out south meeting all the homies. Like, oh, okay. Katie Young Cocky, that's my dog. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people from out south, I started knowing musically. Like, I met through, so I love the south side. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. The reason I ask that, because some people, <laughs> they be like, nah, man, I'm, I, don't, I don't fuck with the south side. I don't right. drop, you know. Yeah, nah. So, rock with the south side. Because like, <laughs> when I was a kid, I lived on the west side. And then, actually, when I got older, I moved to the south side. Because okay. a lot of people already knew me out west, so I moved out south. Okay. So, yeah, that too. So let's talk about your project. How many tracks you got on there? You got like over twenty, right? Yeah, I do. I think I got twenty two for D sure. Double, double no, LP. No, no limit records type. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's like Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> um, crazy. How how long pause. How long did it uh take you to like, you know, get in the studio and record this whole out this project? Uh, so it ended up being 22 because I actually took so long, like, dropping a song in general. Mm -hmm. So it's just like when it was time to drop an album, it was just like, fuck it. And mm -hmm. then it was like I was so versatile with it. Mm -hmm. The label was like, let's just give them everything. Let's give them a mixture of this and that and mm -hmm. singing and rapping and everything. At first it was just all rap. Okay. I wasn't proud of that, though, because it didn't show, like, my range and okay. everything that I do. So it was just like I was unsatisfied with it. So the lady was like, "All right, fuck it, then just let's give them everything." So mm -hmm. I'm like, "All right, cool." And so yeah, we end up doing that, just giving them everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Branching off what you just said, do you consider yourself a rapper? If somebody asks you, "Hey, hey, man, you rap?" Do you say you're a rapper, or, you, or do you feel as though you're more than that? No, I'm more than that. I, I always tell people I'm an artist, but if oh, they okay. ask me like. Do I rap? I'll be like, yeah, of course oh, I rap. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, the crazy part is, though, I, I don't tell people I sing. When they ask me, like, you sing? I'll be like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know what I'm because it's just like, I mean, that was when I was younger. Like, oh. younger mm. girls be like, sing for me. I ain't doing that. <laughs> that shit now crazy. That shit is sad. I ain't singing you no know, happy birthday. <laughs> nothing. Like, yeah, no. Nah. Ain't going my song. I got a song. I call this. Check it out. So, yeah. I think I'm more of a rapper than a singer for sure. Okay. So, so starting from the beginning, so that means you got the gene like somebody in your family they they got the musical gene. Right? Facts. Wow. So who has it? Your dad, mom, you got an uncle. So my dad. I was told that my dad did have. He DJ'd and uh, he sung his song as well. He my pops died when I was two, so oh, okay. I didn't know too much about him and shit. But <laughs> everybody that do tell me, they say he had it. Like you know, I said he had it big. But uh, I I got it from my uncle. My uncle actually had a group and everything. He rap. He still he still like his flow crazy. Like so he <laughs> he kept me like in tune with all the music and everything. So it's just like we kinda had that like swag on it. My mom even know how to rap. So it's just oh, like, wow. yeah, she 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 a write a verse and go crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have these like little rap battles and stuff like that. So our whole family kinda go down and my little cousin cowboy. So it's kinda like, you know, so we mm -hmm. all we all we kinda got we got the music. Oh, that's dope. When did you decide that you were going to be a rapper or an artist? 
when I was young. I did my first song when I was like seven with my uncle. Oh, okay. oh shit. Yeah, so uh, we remixed the uh, the You So Fine joint by Lil Wayne. And mm. uh, he he actually wrote my verse for that song. I was begging him to let me get on the song. <laughs> he like, I yeah. <laughs> and he was mad too. And then mm. I ended up sounding good. And he was like, oh, okay. Mm. And so I recorded my first song when I was seven. And after that, it was just like, I already knew I wanted to be a rapper. Like it was, I already knew I wanted to do music. Like from that point on, I just knew, like, yeah, I got it. I could do some music. Like, so I, I been like since I was shorty, I already knew. So you, seven years old, you figure out you you rapping. This is your life. Um, as far as, like, like what was some of the artists or music that you really like? You gravitated to like someone, some people that you like. Uh, 50 Cent, That's a good Bone choice. Thugs and Harmony. Mm-hmm. Man, I was on them bad. Like, <laughs> I swear my uncle made all us one of them. I always <laughs> think I was Wish. My brother was lazy. He was busy. My other brother, he was busy. <laughs> like, you know, he made all us. We went all the way down to like flesh and everybody. So, you know what I'm saying? Bone Thugs and Harmony for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Drake, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, who else? Uh, Akon, man, I always thought Akon was dope. My stepdad it was like, he Akon. was like, Akon and Fifty lock, lock, I get locked them from up, him. huh? Yeah, Akon and Fifty, I get them from him for sure. Anthony yeah. Hamilton, get that from him for yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, uh, so just little stuff like that, like mm-hmm. the real artists, mm-hmm. the real artists, stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. I'm waiting. On <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. That's how to be it. And my no. uncle. And my uncle. I really like look for inspiration with people close to me because it's so easier to see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 harder for me to look up to people that's so far away. It's easier for me to look up to people that I can like really like call and talk to mm-hmm. and it's like closer because I can really see their growth. I can't really it's just, you know, we right. we like to imagine what these people doing. But it's just like so so my uncle was like really for me, like, man, this nigga raw. So yeah. So you did talent shows and all that. Yeah, yeah. when I was young, I did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you yeah. ever get stage right now? You know, I did it. I did it. Oh, so you were natural oh, wow. for real? Like yeah, you just like, Yo, I was fucking coming. give me a mic. Yeah, for sure. I was ready to touch a mic. That is not me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's not me. <laughs> yeah. So you get on stage in front of ten thousand people is nothing. Nothing. So you I'm don't ready. get nervous before you don't get shows. Nervous, you don't... No, it's just like no ritual. No, like I yeah. not. You know what the crazy part is? I just told myself before the show I just did in Tennessee that I need to probably start rehearsing. <laughs> because literally, <laughs> bro, it comes, it comes so natural to me. It's just like right before I get on stage, it's just like, boom, I tap right in. It's just be like, I'll be ready. So if what? I actually like rehearse, man, I think I'll be so much doper than people already <laughs> think I am. Like. For you real. made this far. You made with this no far. Rehearsal. No rehearsal. <laughs> no rehearsal. Even with the music, like people think I, I, I'm so tapped in with music because, like, <laughs> I'm so dope and I do so many genres. But man, mm. I couldn't. And people, I always say people might kill me for this, but it's just like I can't name five Michael Jackson songs. Huh? I can't. Like I can't. Wait. Like. <laughs> Uh, you I said can't your name uncle five and your Tupac mom was. I mean, that's why I say I listen. Like I get a lot of my inspiration from like people that I can like. Oh, so man. it's like I haven't studied. Imagine if yeah, I study it. music, it'll be crazy. Like I, I, I have it though. It's well, all it's, do you, do you how old are you? I do. I have. I started now, but okay. it's just like. How old are you? Twenty eight. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, get on. This. Yeah, I mean that might have a little bit of. Yeah, get on this shit. Five Michael Jackson songs. You can't. Yeah, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Pro- yeah, but like, I, but a uh, ear, yeah. Like if I know, like I'm like, oh yeah, I heard that before. But like, oh, you probably just yeah. can't name the title. The title. Okay. But it's right. just like you I'm just not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. God but damn. I'm just saying I'm not familiar with like how you how you know how music artists like how be like you know you mm. do music you should be tapped in. It's right, like, right. I'm mm. not tapped in like how I should be as an mm. artist. You know what I'm saying? That's I still, that's still a talent to just get on stage and say fuck it. Like yo, I'm about to. It comes natural for me, so it cut it literally. Came natural, like hey, I keep, don't. I keep. haven't studied none of the shit. It came natural to me. Stay with it, bro. For real, that's a talent. For real, have, some have, people people get nervous. Have you ever had a normal nine to five punching the clock? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh okay. Hell yeah, I did. I used to. 
Man, I had one job for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest you ever had a job? <laughs> I had a job. I mean, I, I I had one job for like two days. I actually did lift before. Oh, okay. Shit, uh, I did grub up before. Wait, wait, they, them all that? entrepreneur you jobs. You probably don't count he don't that count shit, that. though, right? He don't count that. He don't all count right, that shit. Then let me, let me try to give you one, a real one. <laughs> I, I, I kind of count it, yeah. I don't, all right. He's not really punching in. Now you're doing it on his own you, accord. You're doing it on his own accord. Right. <laughs> That's still not yeah, no, being that, an artist, though. That job, that was the one I worked for two days. Yeah. That's the longest job you actually had. I had to punch it. in and all that <laughs> shit. Like, Fuck two days, I couldn't do that shit. That, <laughs> that shit what, was crazy. What what point in your in your career was the, was the two-day job? Was it? I was in high school still. Oh, okay. Oh, so this yeah. was kind of before you kind of really yeah. tapped into music? Yeah. Matter of fact, I was getting out of high school. This okay. was Because I, I dropped out. So this was oh, during that time. Okay. When that when that time, like, I stopped going, I had found, like, a little job at this, like, warehouse shit. My brother actually got me in. It, it was so disappointing because I stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so he got me in and shit, and I went for like two days, and it was just like, I made an excuse up, like, man, I can't get to work every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't do that shit. That's the real truth. <laughs> I'll forget what I even was doing. That's just crazy. I just stopped going. i like, I can't do it. Now, I don't need you to give the gov. Neil Gang, what, that's an interesting name. Where do you get that from? Uh, My middle name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So your name is name. Neil. Cornelius, so okay, okay, okay. Comes, okay. Comes from that, yeah. Okay. But I always wanted to work like a shoe store and shit like that. Oh. If I did that shit, <laughs> I think I enjoy that. <laughs> well, no, yeah, you know, it's, it's never too late. Now. It's never yeah, too late. You know, you know? <laughs> never yeah. too late. You know? I might do that like when I get like super famous, like or just. I feel yeah. I feel <laughs> you like you could troll. You could troll. Yeah, troll. Do like a, just get work the shoe store and shit for a day or some shit. That'd be like some dope shit I'd do. Like, yeah, I feel like I'd be good at some shit like that. That uh, warehouse shit just worked for me though. Yeah. Warehouse, that's, that's yeah, yeah. I feel like I could work taste. a real job though. Yeah. Like I will, like I will, but like something like that strict. Nah, nah, I couldn't do that. <laughs> nah, look, look, yeah. nah, you got you got Fork music career. Shit. You ain't got to work, man. Yeah, 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 that'd be going backwards. Yeah, that'd be going backwards, <laughs> man. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> real talk. Um, I remember when we was at the video shoot. I told you about your interlude that you. Like promote you shooting out. I was like, yo, like this, this is kind of dope. Like you yeah. should add on to it and put on the next project. What do you think about that? Man, that's actually a dope idea. Like that's a super dope idea. I only remember that. I'm glad you just <laughs> like it's crazy. I'm glad you just mentioned that again because that's actually a super dope idea. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that song. Like you know what I'm saying. So and uh, we shot that song. I think the video gonna be dope. Mm -hmm. And uh. Yeah, part two or just the, just the continues of that song yeah. actually probably be dope. Even the video, how it was shot, it could get yeah. continued. So yeah, I thank you for that. Idea. Let me feel my cold. I was telling him like his interlude, like it is kind of like it need to be continued. Yeah, it's like a to be continued type of joint. So like I was like, yo, like you should put this on the next project. Like it's it's a dope. It's like one. It's like real short. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like a a buck forty five. Like you know Facts. what I'm saying. So. I was like, yo, is this going to be added on, or is it like a missing, but, you know what I'm saying? Facts. And he so. played the keys to that song, too, so shout out to my boy Wiz. We, we cooked yeah. that up in the studio fast as hell, mm -hmm. actually. He played the, I want. I wish I could play the piano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it's crazy. Not, it's not too late. That's crazy, because I was, like, raised in the church, and I always wanted to play one yeah. of the instruments, and I just never did, like, crazy. Mm -hmm. So when you got out of high school, how did you, what was your start to the to becoming an artist? Were you doing, uh, selling hand to hand, selling out the trunk of your car? Like, what was you doing? Uh, so, like I said, I, I jumped on the song with my uncle when I was seven. Mm -hmm. And from there, I was already, like, going around when I was younger. I, I used to meet, so I got a bunch of pictures with celebrities like when I was younger like because my auntie Erica she used to work at BT so mm. she used to she take cold. me to do interviews <laughs> she used to take me she to do cold. interviews she would do interviews for people and she would take me to do them and my uncle actually used to be her cameraman she was that here in Chicago? 
Uh, yeah, this was like when they came to Chicago. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I got a bunch of pictures like with Nelly and all the people mm-hmm. that like was doing music and shit back then. So mm-hmm. heavy, like so that was a seeing that type of shit too. It's just like even they used to get like tickets to the BET Awards too. It's just like, but I wasn't old enough at the time to right. go. But uh, yeah, so it's just like it was always there. Like the shit was just always there. It was always around. So and then when I got on. Um, Older, probably like around 14, 15, dropped my first song on YouTube. And, oh, uh, right, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yep, and uh, I, I was on a web series called The Generation, and mm-hmm. they made my song the intro. Mm-hmm. And that shit just went up from there because the show was getting like a million views Dang. and shit like that. So that song now probably got like 1.5 million. So that's how I really got my buzz with music. I, get, I got on the show, and then they made my song. Just my past, the intro of the show. Uh, from from there, it was just like, ah, right, yeah, the show's already doing numbers and shit like that. How does how does that feel? Like you're 15 and you like doing numbers on YouTube, yeah. And like you like yo, like do do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you get like kind of cocky? Do you like or you, or it's like yo, I still gotta get better. <laughs> I still gotta improve. I gotta enhance my craft. Yeah, like, like no, nah, I'm still like I gotta enhance too. It's just like I don't see. It, that was like during the days I feel like you had real superstars there. So I was mm-hmm. looking at that. Sh- I got to actually experience like real um, stardom. Mm-hmm. So it's it, it was really like no cock. You know, back then it was really no cockiness about music. Like mm-hmm. I couldn't even mm-hmm. walk through the I couldn't even walk through the store without people trying to chase me or I touch girls. <laughs> and, man, I touch girls' hands and they cried. Like what? I got the from that song from the from the show. Of course, because I was on the show too. Right, I was okay. on a uh, web series. I was mm-hmm. on a uh, web series. And shout out to them because they let me keep my my music name and everything. Mm-hmm. So people knew me as Neil. Mm-hmm. And like I said, the sh- the show would do a million views. Mm-hmm. So man, like I would touch girls' hands and they would cry. They would chase us after <laughs> shows. Like you were Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah you like you know what I'm saying. So we got the experience real started. And the wow, crazy part yeah. is, back then it wasn't really like I feel like now with. With music, everybody like a lot of artists they'll have a certain type of cockiness with it because just like they regular people. Right. What people, year was this? 2015, oh, 2000, okay. you know, YouTube 16, yeah, yeah, the, the YouTube area, uh, 2013, probably like stuff like that, yeah, 2013, 14, around those times, yeah, that era was crazy, but it wasn't no cockiness in it, like we didn't have chains and shit right. like that, or like. All the designer clothes of the world, we was just like, we had clout. Like, mm-hmm. that's what we had. Like, and like, people loved us, and that's, we loved the people back. But it was just like, that's how it was. Now, it's, you gotta, it's a certain type of arrogance and everything yeah. with, with just music and just people now. Like, like so, yeah. Let me, you know what? That's, that's a spinoff to another thing. That That's a good yeah. segue. It's like, what do you feel about the music industry currently? Like what is, I'll say what is like the what is the downside? What is something that you really dislike about the music industry currently? Uh, same thing that I dislike about any industry. I feel like sometimes like the people that actually work hard to be like in certain roles and shit like that don't ever get the opportunity because you have people that kind of out. It's so many other things that comes with music now. Mm-hmm. It, it's outshine. I feel like it's a lot of drug dealers and shit like that that's kind of getting the spot like that real artists again or like a lot of street niggas mm-hmm. just because they may have it's like a it's like being in high school like you know the popular people was like you know the the people that everybody knew but they didn't make them the best artists or the right. best uh, fucking basketball player. They was just right. like the popular, popular people, right. but the basketball player got the chance to be the best basketball player. Right. But now it's kind of like. It's if you popular, it. then you the, you probably the biggest rapper. And it's just yeah. like, that don't got shit to do with rappers, but those niggas rap it out. So it's kind of like, you know. So I feel like it, it cuts out the chances for everybody to actually really do work hard and kind of like, kind of never probably get a chance because they're not coming from blocks and people that's kind of come out for you. Because those are the type of people that would get chances back then. Because mm-hmm. you, you have to come with 40 people. Now you got to come with 40 people. Now you got to have a chain on. <laughs> now you got to already look like you're rich and shit right. like that. You, you can't used to get it from the mud. Right? Yeah, you can't get it from the mud. Back then you used to get it from the mud. And guess what? The drug dealers were rapping and shit like that. You had a certain type of what they could really rap. Mm-hmm. And they would really be rapping and shit like that. Now it's just like... if. 
oh, you got some clout, bro. You popular. Let you start rapping. Right. right. And I feel like that's sh- that's sh- that's cheap because of course you can win <laughs> now. It's like you, yeah, if your your pictures already do it five thousand likes on Instagram, you already got the money and shit like that. And if you start rapping tomorrow, hell yeah, your video go go up because we live in that era. But it's just like those niggas was the niggas putting the money into the people that was yeah, here. <laughs> so yeah. now you got y'all trying to rap. It's kind of like y'all ass in the way. So yeah. if you ain't got no bread or you ain't got the people, the people that usually are fun you, like how the athletes should be like, you know, the niggas be like, man, so-and-so off the block bought me my first rollie. But now the nigga that bought you your rollie, he, he tried to hoop try down. To so it's just like, to be on yeah, so yeah. you don't get those chances no more. Because, you know, so... I, that's the only thing I dislike about it. Other than that, all this shit just come and go. So, what's your label situation now? Uh, shit, I'm signed to a label that's based out of Chicago. Um, uh, been signed with them for a few years now. We, uh, I dropped a project with them. Uh, I got another project that's uh, that that's my obligation with them. But uh, but yeah, that's my label situation. Shout out Black Bag. Yeah. Was that your first choice? Did you have any other offers? Um, uh, I did. I, well, I but I liked it to be by myself at first, like because just like I had the team, like I, you know, I had I had fifty people that was coming with me to shows. I had, yeah. I had, I was coming strong. I just needed. I feel like I just needed a bigger like audience, a bigger like. Uh, even like even when I was on a web series and the show and my songs was doing every time I dropped a song in a weekend it'd do like a hundred K and it kept going like mm-hmm. but I never knew any industry people. So it's oh. just like <laughs> so I never was able to network the best way I could. It was just like, nigga, your songs doing all this and you don't even know nobody. Like, cause mm-hmm. I was the only one in my family doing music at the time. I was the only one that was like trying to do some shit. I had no fucking management team, none of that <laughs> shit. So it's kinda like I'm just a kid getting all these views, but it's just like I don't know who to talk to. Like, oh, okay. So it's kind of like that's and that's why I said with them. It ain't. It was. I felt like an independent uh, label was like we got the same type of hunger, hunger mm-hmm. instead of sounding with like a major label. Because I could have signed to a major label, but it was just like they ain't hustling. Mm-hmm. Do, you wanna, do you want to say what label you could have signed to? Did you go? Did you take the New York route and go to New York and try to <laughs> right. knock on doors and all that, or no? Uh. Uh-uh. I actually just had like uh, I had situations because I was like before I signed with them, I was working to I was working with R. Kelly before he went to jail. I was, Whoa! Yeah, so I was working him for. Uh, so you was gonna sign the Rockland? No, uh, he had a label he was actually working on, but he just was in a bunch of legal stuff, so he didn't want to mm. he didn't want to start it up. So I actually respect him for that because honestly. Speaking, had he tried to sign me, I would have signed with him. Oh, really? Because okay. I was working with him for two and a half years. So, mm-hmm. if we being honest, I would have signed. I even brought it up to him, like, man, like, bro, what's the issue? Why haven't we done paperwork? Mm-hmm. And he told me, like, and that's one of the things I will say I respect about him because he told me, like, man, I've been so much bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm not gonna sell you right now. Oh, but okay. yeah, so you actually helped once you out. <laughs> I get my shit together, mm-hmm. I promise you, I'm gonna sign you. But right now, I don't have the money and none of that shit that I wanna give to you right mm. now. You know what I'm saying? But I was working with him for like two and a half years. I wrote the I Admit song he dropped. So yeah, so we was just we was we was super locked in. Uh, but he had a situation with me with Sony. Uh, I'm actually with. The Ultra Music right now, which is connected to Sony, I do distribution with through them, so oh, I still God. wind okay. up doing some shit with Sony. Uh, uh, his manager, Mace, at the time, he still reached out to me to this day. He got a situation with Def Jam that he reached out to me about. So all type of shit. I actually went to sit down with Epic. I think that was. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else I went to go sit down with with Dex? Who that was with Lee? We went to uh, L.A. I don't think it was. Uh, I think it was Epic. I think it was epic, but I don't know. So I, I, it's some other label too that uh, uh we actually sat down with and had a uh, conversation with. But yeah, so it was all over. I had other choices, but I just like I said the 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 hunger from a, like an independent label. I feel like it's just like the same as mine because it's just like we we want to win. Right. So you wouldn't go from your label now to a major if they offered. I would, but it had to be a situation that's like that's like for me. Like, 
Because I could get in a situation because it's like I, I have connections now. So wow. I know how to get a deal right now. <laughs> okay. But it's just like the deal would have to be suitable for me. Like I don't believe in just taking a deal because I get one. Because I could get a deal right now just because. Mm-hmm. I like you to get really, money up front and all that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it's just like I want to, I got to put this to work. So mm-hmm. until I do that, I, I wouldn't sign with a major. Because I don't feel like they'll give me attention. So, yeah, you that's, know? What, that's what they say. But about they sign they people. Say, they they will sign you though, right, especially if right. you got some connections with the labels and some people mm-hmm. can walk you in the door. Man, they will sign your ass and right. put you right on the shelf. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the motherfucking day, I feel like just do the groundwork, let them come to you, and then make the deal about you. Really mm-hmm. want you, and so now it's a mutual thing. And now, like, all right, bet I want to be with y'all. Y'all want to be with me. So, y'all gonna actually work on me rather than. I got a favor from somebody, y'all sign me, and now I'm complaining in fucking three months saying mm. we ain't put out no music. Right. Yeah. That's usually how it goes yeah. with a major. They yeah. give you the money up front. Yeah, and then you got to pay. You, you gotta locked pay. in for yeah. five, six albums. You yeah. get out the deal. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so that so any artists, any younger artists that are looking up to you coming up, you would advise them to stay away from a major? I, I, I wouldn't. I, I, you know, if if it all depends on the resources they have. Okay. You know, I don't advise nobody to stay away from shit if you ain't got no resources. Yeah. I'll actually advise you as to sign a fucked up deal if you ain't got no resources. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, you got to understand, with some of this shit, you got to understand. Like, because same thing I did. I regret it. So me trying to be a smart ass my younger days, man, I could have took a deal. And be like, man, that shit crazy, bro. And I'm looking over this and I'm looking over this shit. You don't even understand. You just think you don't post a side of deal. So it's just like, bro, what's fucking two years of your life that you wasn't going to do anyway? <laughs> So well, if you if can get your money for a two year deal, yeah, that ain't that right? Bad. That ain't nothing. That ain't really nothing. So it's nothing just like it. if you can get your feet wet and you can get around some people that you would actually fucking know. Right. Dummy sign a fucking deal, meet new people, get oh. around, get an industry, and then that shit over with from there. Then now, don't sign back to them. Now, <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, don't make yeah. the same mistake, but like definitely get your feet wet and level the fuck up. But like, you know, don't waste your time. Like, people, because people don't take the deal, and then guess what? You still be in a fucked up position. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, if you know how to maneuver, did I say? It's just like taking a fucked up job. You might not want to work there, but it's just like, they're going to take the look. Ten dollars an hour because <laughs> if you don't take that shit, you ain't gonna be making shit an hour for two years. Yeah. And then, zero hour. you know what I'm saying? So, but if you got the hustle with you, yeah, take the ten dollars an hour because you got the hustle with you. And you and, you, and you know, if you could just get a look, buddy, I'm gonna get there. So if you don't know, like, all I gotta do is like, if I get around these people, which the label gonna probably do for you, then I'll be able to finesse this, and finesse mm-hmm. this. About time I get out of this deal, it might take two years, but guess what? Now. I'm, since I'm a hustler, I'm mm-hmm. in a no doubt. So I'm cool. Was there was there anything that uh like R. Kelly like that you that you absorbed as far as like teachings of the music biz? Like was there something like, yo, like yo, even though like he didn't like push me this way, like I still Uh see I still like come from like the uh back there era, so I feel like I I, I learned some shit from everybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. I can learn mm. some shit from a motherfucking crackhead. So at the end of the day, I take dudes and notes from everybody mm-hmm. that I come in contact with because it's just like it's so easy for me too. Mm-hmm. See, now people can't do that shit because they like we live in a council culture. We live in a culture where people like you want big one mistake. You you obviously can't be the messenger. Why the fuck not? Right. Yes, you could. I don't give a fuck what happened. Like or what the fuck you done been through or the mistakes you made. I can look through you and I know like, all right, that's fucked up about him. I ain't going to do that. And I can look at it and be like, oh, that's the raw shit. So right. I learned a lot of shit from him. Just like I learned a lot of don'ts from his ass. But I, I ain't going <laughs> to sit here and say, right. I did learn some shit from him. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. I learned a lot of shit. Like He used to always tell me like how to be, he used to train me to be a superstar rather than like uh, how he described it to be like, man, you got shooting stars and then you got superstars and then you got, uh, then you got, uh, What's the other stars? Shooting stars, and then you got fucking uh, what's the stars that come? And comets. You, you barely see their ass. Is uh, that the shooting star? Co- nah, comets. I'm, I'm bad with astrology. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, 
It may, it probably be a shooter star, and I probably just said that shit wrong. It's one of the, it's one of the stars you barely fucking see. You know what I'm saying? Quick, yeah, it's probably a shooter star versus like, and then you just got stars, and then you have a shooter right, star. Yeah. Right. So yeah, and he was like, "Want to make yourself a shooter star?" You know what I'm saying? You can always see a star in this guy, but you barely see superstars. So he just taught me how to just live on a superstar level rather than just live as just like a regular star level. So I learned a lot of. Simple shit from them that that superstars who learn like so like I said it's a lot of dudes that nurse you learn from people like so I could take shit and learn from anybody I learn from a lot of people now people mm-hmm. that's not even on my level I learn from them like do so. you do you love writing writing music yeah I do mm-hmm. for other people <laughs> that's where yeah. the money come in because I don't write for me <laughs> that's where the money come in I mean I don't write my music when I record I don't mm-hmm. write oh you don't you just go you in just the booth? go in the booth yeah wow. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, picked up I figured that, that from yeah, you know, the, rehearsal going yeah, on stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But see, my, my shit don't come from like, uh, my shit comes from a place of like, now everybody will tell you they do that. Right. Right. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I teach his own. But my shit comes from a place It's just like, with writing for myself, it just kind of like comes. Like, since I'm not, I'm more so like, if I'm, if I'm writing or if I'm doing a song, it's coming from like a true space. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, it got hard for me to write. And so I started not writing because it would take me so long to write for myself. For somebody else, it was easy because it was just right. like, all right, man, I'll just write anything. Y'all want anything? We write anything. <laughs> so they, they would just tell you, yo, uh, I want this. And you'd yeah, say, bet. Most times they want a good song or they'd just play a beat. It's just like, if you could make a dope song off of this, I'm Damn. with that. So it's kind of like, that's what it is. With me, I'm more so like, what I want to talk about right. or what happened in my life that I'm going to talk about. It's kind of like, it's it, my writing process for myself took so long to I stopped writing. So I would just go in there, it's kind of just do some cadence and then let the cadence talk to me. Because mm. the process would be writing for myself and be like, all right, bet. What the topic gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm trying to figure out a topic for fucking an hour and then it'd be like, all right, bet. What the first line gonna be? And then <laughs> it got too complicated. So I stopped doing it. Yeah, writing for other artists, it pays though. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah, yeah, it pays. Facts. So you said you was around R. Kelly for two years. Yeah. Did you ever play basketball with him? I heard <laughs> he's a excellent basketball player. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we we all play basketball. <laughs> I, I have I have heard that he calls a lot of fouls. <laughs> is that is that true? True. <laughs> true. This is this is that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> he hate losing. Yeah, yeah, I heard he call a lot of fouls, and he want the ball a lot. Oh yeah, and yeah. He got passing the ball. We uh, <laughs> me and him never can play on the same team. <laughs> we always played against each other. Oh okay. But he always wanted to play against me because I always I actually played him. He always told me like. You play me for real. Like, <laughs> everybody else was scared to play him, so right. like, oh, I played him for real. Like he do like a challenge, oh, okay. and so everybody else would be scared to play him and stick him and shit like that. I play him, and I bring my brother them, and they played him for real. We <laughs> we damn they about to fight them and everything. So he 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 liked it that everybody mm-hmm. else like even so he do like he every time he asks, well we all go to the gym. We knew we could be on teams because mm-hmm. I'm not gonna grab the rebound and pass it back to him. <laughs> Them niggas get seven possessions, grabbing the rebound and throwing him back the ball. He's shooting that bitch from half court. <laughs> Damn, y'all ass hustling y'all ass off not to take a shot unless he say take it up. And then they taking that bitch up and shit. But other than that, they gonna grab the rebound and throw that bitch so right it's, back it's to worse him. Than I thought. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's it's bad. You can't. He know, he know, like, I ain't doing that shit. So he go, t- he go at me in the door, like, nah, man, they okay. No, nah, I can't be on tapes with it. <laughs> I don't want to be on tapes with it. Help, like, yeah, yeah. So we ain't going to be on tapes. He always, always tell me to bring my, bring my three. Mm-hmm. Or bring, bring me two players to play with because me and him can't play together. We got to play against each other. What is, uh, how do you, like, what is, what is your, Move like when you do an album, you say you like working on like how do you get to that point? Like, yo, I gotta fucking do a project, I gotta knock yeah. it out. Or... So, I don't even have one, bro, because just like I record myself, so kind of like I record every day. Oh, what? Yeah, so it's kind of like I never have to get in the mood. It's just like, it's just like. The team will call me and be like, all right, we want to drop an album. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to see y'all over. Like, how many songs y'all thinking? 
Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he'd be like, I right, bet. And then I think with him, and then it was just like, my soul is just right there. It's like, it ain't right. Like, you know, how some people be like, that's categorized. That's for that. Mm, right, right, so right. Me, I'm just making souls every day. So it's kind of like, the bitches like, I right, bet. Just like Ewa Kills, which I never received none of them. I never received a song for me. We worked for two years. Mm-hmm. I ain't got none of that shit. Mm-hmm. So when I, and every song that I did was in his studio. So when I stopped working for him, I had to start my whole catalog over. Uh, it was over 250 songs. What? Yeah. That you could never get. That I could ever get. 250? Yeah. Over. So y'all was just in. Damn. Yeah, no, you I sure record, you could never get these songs? I record it every day. I'm sure it's a hard drive with them on Right. I don't have They exist somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, but we, yeah, I record it every day. Like, I record at nighttime. I come in at nighttime and here, and I leave probably at like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. And he'll come in right after me at the morning and record. And then, uh, same thing every day. Do every you? Day. Do you listen to your tracks in the whip? Like, you know what I'm saying? Some Play the time. bitches out. Oh, for real? You like hearing your really? voice? Or like, you, you, uh, some bitches, artists don't like nah, hearing yeah. themselves. I'm glad you know right now, those bitches get a good four days out of this. <laughs> <laughs> they be a rap. Like, some artists, they don't like hearing themselves. Like, Man, I'll yeah. play that shit out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to leave the studio and I'll play that motherfucking song probably. Hopefully, I make at least about three to four because if I make one, that shit going to be played out of probably like one or two days. <laughs> I can't hear it too long. I got to get that shit a break. So I'll play it out probably for like two days straight. That's dope. If you're recording every day, how many songs do you have that's unreleased right now? Uh. (laughs) When you you say you record every day, are you saying like you're you're recording like a skeleton or you have an actual song? (laughs) Actual song. Yeah. And sometimes more than one song. Well, most times more than one song. Like a song you're ready to release. You ain't got to go back and put finishing touches on it. Or... Nah. Oh, wow. Nah. I think me, me recording every day comes from like me wearing my songs out. Mm. <laughs> I record and then I listen to that bit so much. You be like, all right, I'm ready for something right, new. You're tired of it. <laughs> yeah, because I don't listen to other music. I told well, you this. I oh, don't study don't music. Because I I, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so, it's so hard to check out music until I don't listen. If somebody else be like, or if I'm in a car with somebody and they play some shit, I'd be like, oh, that's dope. What's that? Mm. And then I pick up on the song. But we go to check out music. It's crazy. Because it's so hard to find a good soul now. It's fucking hell no. I ain't finna listen to nobody whole album. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucking sad. You will barely hear a whole, good song on that motherfucker. Well, no, just tell me the good ones to go and then I'll go check it out. And then if that shit good, yeah. I got to be like a real, like I listen to Drake whole album if he drop an album because mm-hmm. I, I, I expect something good from him. Mm-hmm. But right. like checking out new music, crazy. That shit crazy. It's, it's a lot of new music. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it can be a little yeah. overwhelming. Yeah. So it's just like when I wear my shit out, I'll be like, all right, back to, I, it's time to make another one. So you're doing three, four songs a day? Yeah. Like an ex- like exercise. Yeah, when I'm in that bag, I will at least do like three, four songs and it's in a like, day. And it's just like whatever hits your brain, like you just like, yo, I'm just going to go in and yeah. it don't even matter. It's just yeah. like, damn. Yeah. So do you feel... That's dope. Do you feel off when you don't go to the studio and record in a, in a day? Or do you make sure that's something you do? Well, do you have? Do you? Rec- you said you record at home. That right? shit in my crib. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have a studio, or you using your, your phone, or no? Nah, I got a studio. I got a setup in my crib. Okay. Yeah. Mic and all that. Mm. All that. Oh, yeah, that makes, yeah. that makes I recorded easy. my whole album at the crib. It gave me trust. Just and you. And just you. Yeah. With the exception, of probably like a two songs. Yeah. Production With- as well. Nah, like I got other people that you did got production. Okay. You, you went in there and just knocked it out. Yeah, but all the records that was on the album, like like I said, with the exceptions, probably like a two two to three songs, I recorded myself. Damn. Yep. Top to bottom. You motivated. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, he got the gene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah, the gene. every day. Yeah, yeah recording he, every he day. He put in 10,000 hours for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. So to go back to... Um, the, the YouTube song you had. Yeah. Did you, you didn't think, man, I could just keep putting out songs on YouTube and get, get the Google <laughs> ad money right. and just do my career that way? Man, back then I didn't know. 
Okay. You know, back then I didn't know because the web series was on the Generation uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. of course. My song was on the Generation YouTube. Oh, it wasn't your YouTube. It wasn't mine. Uh, at uh. So you never got a cut of that. I never got a cut of that song. Well, I I started too at the end, but like I never do like about like the ads and all okay. that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Like you know, even like the show ended up stopping because it had to fall it out about money, mm -hmm. and it's like when it had to fall it out about money, and it came to my attention too. It's like man, they stealing money from us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. What money? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I never knew about the money. That's right, why okay. it's kind of like everybody ended up falling out. And it, it, my boys now, but like everybody ended up falling out because it's just like I wasn't mad because it was just like nobody ever told me about money to begin with. So they wanted me to be mad at the person that was stealing the money, but I never knew about the money to begin with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, I was like, I was mutual. I wasn't mad at nobody. I was just like, <laughs> I ain't mad. But now I know we get the money, and I right. still didn't care. But it was just like, so yeah. But yeah, you know, I didn't know about that shit. Now I know about it, but I didn't know about that shit. Had I known, I would have built a brand for myself way yeah. earlier. And it would have been big. Because that song on that, since it was uh, one of the highest views of uh, things on there, I think it might have been the highest one. And then second was some uh my other homie song. But yeah, had I known that shit, I would have branded myself way bigger. Mm -hmm. Of course, I created my own YouTube and shit after that. And right. I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know about that shit back okay. then. Do uh, young ladies still like, or women? Do they still touch your hand? Like, oh, I remember you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I remember you when I, when I was 18. I haven't experienced the touch my head shit, in a while, <laughs> but I have experienced. Like, I have experienced like getting yeah, deals and like like shit. Like, uh, man, it used to be my street saver. Well, well, even <laughs> even guys tell me like, man, my my sister or my girl listen Dang. to your shit all the time, or she used to play your shit. But I get girls that hit me up in my DM all the time. Like, well, I still got a crush on you. Or I had the biggest crush. <laughs> show you back then like used to be wallpaper yeah my shit so we really got that that real startup time like yeah. now it's like like i said you barely get that shit like even yeah. look how people fans are like look baby and shit but people yeah. still just don't get like here i don't think he got the michael jackson or a type of like a celebrity feel that you used to be getting back then yeah. that man i'm talking about People loved you back then. Right. Like, that was kind of like everybody feel like they on the same level. So it's just right. like they might be a fan of your ass, but it's just like they ain't <laughs> well, tweaking over you. Right. Like, right. You know, back mm -hmm. then they was tripping over you. <laughs> you straight saying this. You this. I'm dressing like you. I'm fucking. <laughs> that was just like nigga. You wear Alexander. I got on Alexander too. Like <laughs> we ain't different. <laughs> Back then, it was different. Like it was, like it was a separation between the two. Like mm -hmm. so, but now it's just like everybody the same now. So they got changed. We got changed. It's like you got crib. I got a crib. It's like yeah. nobody get worshipped like that no more. Nah, was Neil Gang your first choice as a, a rap name? Nope. What, what was your names before that? <laughs> I don't went through that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fucking. I had Delius. I had Delius, fucking uh, Deal. I could, it was originally just Deal, but I could just use Deal because it's just uh, business purposes, so I had to add something at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, actually, the crazy part is when I was first trying, I had Lil Josh, so that's my name. Mm -hmm. uh, fucking, uh, the crazy thing, when I was fucking thinking about names, and it's going to get kind of my personal shit, but it don't matter because you can, like, since the show and shit, man, you can Google me. I'm on famous birthdays and everything, so that shit kind of <laughs> up. So, but I was trying to think of a name for me when I was rapping, and the crazy part is J. Cole had came out, and my A.T. Eric was like, man, Jay, that could have been your name. Because she was like, my name could have been J. Cole because my first name is Josh and then my last name is Cole. So, uh, like, yeah, so I could have been J. Cole. but You could have been DJ yeah, Cole. Yeah. <laughs> I could have been DJ for Cole, real. for real. But, you know, yeah. Mm. But Neil, Neil Gang, I, I fuck with that. One of my homies just used to call me Gang and it just, like, stuck. Like, when I had to add the other part, it's just like, all right. So you I'm literally gonna, couldn't be an artist just named Neil? Nah. Wow. Yeah, mm, someone else. It's, it's it's yeah, it's, it's so many deals out Neil, there, crazy. Yeah. 
It's crazy. So it's like, do they have the name trademarked or? Yeah. Yeah. Copyrighted this shit. Wow. You shit. can't use your own name. <laughs> nah. You can't use your own name. <laughs> red, a lot of red tape. I, didn't, right, I actually didn't even know it was that coming, actually. But when you look it up, you're going to see all type of deal pops up. Deal, yo, I get all type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. When was your low point where you wanted to, man, this music shit ain't working, I'm going to have to get a job, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't getting no money off of this. Was there ever a, p- a point where you were low and wanted to wanted to give up? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you have had, you had no <laughs> struggles through your career. Uh, it was all, it was no 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 valleys. No, 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 um, no struggles with it, like, like second guessing, like this is what I wanted to do. Mm. Hard times, of course, like that. Oh, right, right. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, this shit got to pay off soon. But that's the only struggle I have. Like, it got to pay off soon. That's like, dope. like, but I ain't ever like, man, I, fuck it. I just got to go get a, that shit. <laughs> that shit sound insane. <laughs> Damn. It's like, man, I'm too good. Like, you know what mm. I'm saying? So it's just like, that's dope. I got to have some type of. And then I just have like, Small little ass like confirmations out the blue sometimes. Mm. It may go a long time for me like getting like getting something. It's just like I have small little confirmations, shit that lets me know like, nigga, you dope enough to to mm. make this shit happen. So make it happen. Just even with Kells, like Kells called himself fucking Michael Jordan. He called me Kobe. Like <laughs> for people to call who are the greatest that do music, shit, the greatest and the greatest. Telling me that I'm Kobe, yeah. he Michael Jordan, it's crazy to me. Like, I, I you know what I'm saying? Stop you. He's calling me Kobe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's that's like one yeah. of the questions we always have yeah. wherever we go. We've yeah. been at Exotica and all types yeah. of places. And man, you ever want to punch a clock? What? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Why would I ever punch a clock? I'm already making tons of money. Yeah. Like, like nobody wants to go back nah, to punching nobody. that clock. Nah. They either, they have never done it at all, or they or they, they did it like you for two days they and say, they ain't that. going back. <laughs> <laughs> say, Fuck that shit. Yeah, you just gotta you know you just keep pushing, man. This should have worked out, man. What do you what are you telling young Neil Gang, young artists that's coming up? What are you telling them as far as inspiring or chase their dreams, et cetera? Uh, don't don't be scared to make decisions like, or don't be scared to just make choices that you feel like a better yourself. Take chances, take chances. Drop music. That's something that I didn't do. Like you know, what I'm saying that's another reason why they take that route of just dropping music and, mm-hmm. and, and music. Man, I only probably drop like probably like four five songs back then when I was like clouded. Every time I drop a song, mm-hmm. I was doing a hundred, mm-hmm. hundred thousand in, in fucking a week. Mm-hmm. Only dropped probably like five songs. Crazy. I should have been dropping damn it every week. What was the reason for that? Why didn't you drop more? Just wasn't. Just like, you know, now it's just to be like, now you got the knowledge to the shit be like, all right, man, you need to stay consistent. Just drop mm-hmm. songs. Back then it was just like, just drop a song. And like I said, I had no team or nothing telling me oh, like, nigga, right, okay. you get the 100K right, that's, every that's fucking great. time you drop a song <laughs> yeah. a, in a week. Yeah. Like, literally, the first day we would drop an episode or so, literally, we have 10K the same day. Mm. The same night we have 10K on the show. But it wasn't, wasn't nobody, like, and we'd take, like, a two weeks to drop another one and shit like mm-hmm. that. Or we'd just, so it, the consistency, now it's just, like, consistency, of course, is, is key, and it's just, like, stay on top of that shit. But back then, we weren't thinking about that shit. We were just, we were just making shit and doing shit. We weren't. Mm-hmm. A with no rules to that shit, honestly. Mm. So yeah, just but that's what I the advice I get to my young stuff. Just drop shit and just take chances. Like I ain't take a lot of chances either back then. Like I said, far as like the bad deals and shit. So I don't. It's yeah. a learning lesson. It's a learning lesson. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like what the fuck are you doing anyway? Well, you waste two years of your life. You waste it just like literally like we say if it deal two years, what could possibly go wrong? Two years. Come on now. now if they talk about some indefinitely and shit and 10 years. And, <laughs> Perpetuity. <laughs> yeah, man, That's different. But we're yeah. talking about two years, man. Like, we talk about two years. Just mm. don't sell your ass and let them waste your time. <laughs> Get yeah. something out of it. Just like I said, be a hustler. If you know you're a hustler, do it. But, it, I mean, yeah. Ain't nothing going to go wrong in two years. 
do you, do you have an end goal? Do you want to sing until you old like Teddy Pendergrass or <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your end goal in the, in the music biz? Uh, you want to move into acting? Do do you want? You got other artists you want to cultivate? Yeah, yeah. yeah you can be I actually whole time. Well, I, uh, I got my own label too. I oh, just, okay. I started it about two years ago. I haven't launched it yet, so y'all, that's a that's. A, oh shit. You know what I'm exclusive. saying? Exclusive. Exclusive, exclusive. A real exclusive, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I haven't uh, launched it yet, uh, but I have, of course, like, got everything set up. I got the website mm -hmm. already. I got funding for it already and everything. Oh, okay. So it was actually something I set up, so when I get out of my deal, I was going to set it myself. So, uh, yeah. So that's how that came in play. So, some some yeah. ludicrous raps about sign yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I got that already in the works. Uh I, really, I don't feel like I'm ever probably going to retire from music, though, just because I love it so much. Mm -hmm. So I, it's probably, like, sporadically. Like, I just hop on shit, like, under 3,000 and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, like, oh, okay. and shit. Yeah. yeah, so I'm definitely, like, I do other business-related shit that's probably got something to do with music and just, mm -hmm. like, do other shit in mm -hmm. general that got something to do with just making money. But, like, I don't see myself, like, Working super super hard and like oh uh, but like far as just like I I never stop music though I love it too much I cause I do it for free that's how I know I never that was, stop that was yeah. my next question yeah. would you do it for free hell yeah <laughs> I love this shit <laughs> I do this shit for free I'll be one of the niggas that get favors to buy and still probably just go do a free show just to hear people say my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, now everything about the money people be like right. oh let me get a bag right, to yeah, do this right. me mm -hmm. nah my team would be like. Man, sit your ass down. I, <laughs> my little ass. But it wouldn't be like no club shit. It'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to show love to the people that mm -hmm. probably could afford to come to my shows. So just like how, I don't know if y'all saw the little video, Drake was like, he was OT, like overseas, and he was at the bar, and everybody was singing his song and trying to get him to sing his song. But he wouldn't sing it, and he was like trying to just buy a drink. Man, mm -hmm. I would have performed the shit out of that song. <laughs> My team would have been grabbing me and shit like, no, no free shit, man. Crazy as hell. These people love me. I'm gonna sing my ass off right here. So yeah, so I love it a lot. So I, 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 I this shit probably forever with me. I ain't gonna lie. That's dope. Yeah, that's super dope. Uh, any cities you? What's the city you love to visit? L.A. Oh, you love L.A. Okay. Yeah, I fuck with L.A. Cause it, it, the industry, the like, it just don't ever sleep. Like Chicago, it sleeps. Like you can't find a studio <laughs> after a certain time. You can't. Oh, yeah, for yeah. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, ain't no artists doing shit like right. that. L.A. Man, you go. You can wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Go to the studio. Mm. Somebody in the studio working. Yeah. So I like that. I like that the music scene don't sleep in L.A. So I like going to L.A. What's your favorite food place in Chicago? Favorite food place in Chicago. Oh. He try to get me fucked up. No, no. I, yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you what to nah, do, but, but go let ahead. Let me see. Let me see. Because, man, I don't fucking know. You know, know. what? Can, can I simplify it? Cause, yeah, go ahead. Uh, her, Uncle Remus or Harold's? With that question, I'm going to have to say... See, I ain't really no big ass chicken chicken <laughs> wing eater. So I really like with that that as far as like that, like the reason why I say like you trying to get me fucked up because it's just like uh, so I'm not yes. like a food. I'm from you Chicago. I'm really from from <laughs> Chicago, but it's like I don't care. Like uh, <laughs> I don't give a You don't have an allegiance. Uh, yeah, like oh, okay. I don't so you don't have a fuck. favorite pizza place here? Yeah, but that's what I was just for to say. Oh, right. My favorite pizza place would probably have to be Lunatis, that's crazy. Oh, probably. okay. Oh, you respect you're a fan. that. Yeah, yeah. because oh, yeah. you know, like, but you're you gotta understand. Fan. I that's why I said piece of my favorite food. So I would piece because mm -hmm. like, so I wasn't gonna have like a Chicago type of place right. in mm -hmm. my head that probably people. I like Lunatis. That's uh, I like. Mm -hmm. I like Italian Fiesta too. Like, uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you're gonna Fiesta. say your favorite. Yeah, I love Italian yeah, Fiesta. Yeah. Time Fiesta's <laughs> good. Like, Clogs I thought arteries. that's what he was going to say. Yeah, Clog, Clogs arteries. Real <laughs> yeah. good. Greasy, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I fuck, with, I fuck with a lot of these places. Yeah, down the all type of shit. I, the, the thin crust. You got to get the thin crust yeah. from these places so that you can Look in the camera know. and tell them. Yeah, the when they come to Chicago. From these places, man. What? Get no. the thin crust from these places. The, you get the thin crust from Lumonati? Nah, not from Lumonati. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got to get the deepness from Lumonati. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Hey, he on. He like, yo. I had Lou Monai's thin crust one. I was like, man, this no, no. tastes nothing like the deep dish. Uh-uh. <laughs> the deep dish, had. they got the cheese and everything. Like, and they got, yeah. like, the sauce tastes like, oh, know what type of sauce they put on the Lou Monai's pizza. Like, yeah, Lou Monai's Man, I'm telling you, they got special sauce on that motherfucker. They put some type of liquor wine on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you they got that shit down packed, so I fuck with uh Lunati. That shit, a, that shit a hit. Shout out to Lunati. Shout out to Lunati and Italian Fiesta. You know, yeah, I gotta take that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't had Italian yeah, Fiesta. Okay, no, yeah, no, you go, you go to try one. one. Yeah. Is it true that the wait is very long there? Yeah, it's go. Yeah, they, that's why you call it in. They wait, <laughs> and you still gonna wait. Yeah, they gonna tell you forty five to an hour. Yeah, and still, sure. when you get there, you and when still you get wait. there, and, and that motherfucker gonna be a real uh, hour. Yeah, yep. oh, okay. A real yeah. hour is gonna be. Mike, you don't like Italian. You don't eat Italian. No. You don't like Italian fiesta. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm, I'm person, a, not a pizza person. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really a foodie person anyway. I eat the same shit. I'm like a bar food. I eat uh, bar food, so I ain't gonna really have no fancy restaurants for y'all, no way. Or like no <laughs> like no no oh man, you, you gotta go, go down. You don't go to Nobu and they, right, they right. be busted, nah. Yeah, no. <laughs> like so it's just like I I would no, cause I don't eat a lot of shit. I eat bar I eat the same food. I eat chicken and pizza. No, you you you, you take you take a young lady. You like yo, we go yeah. the simplest spot. Yeah, right. no, they eat. I don't eat seafood. Oh, so that's why, like I said, I don't. I really not a foodie. Oh, um, yeah, I wait. I'm, I'm older now. I ain't even. I ain't in the trash shit. Like if I don't eat it now, <laughs> shit over with. I'm so fucking try. like try, try horse legs. Hell nah. Like, oh, fuck, that's some shit you do when you 17. <laughs> At my age, you done trash shit. You know what you eat. Oh, I don't yeah. eat horse leg, nigga. Yeah. I ain't trash. <laughs> I don't eat it. <laughs> we, we've come across a lot of people from all over all over America, whatever. Tell people, and we got people all over the world that follow us. Tell people what makes Chicago dope. Uh, man, I, I tell you what makes Chicago dope for me. All right, so I feel like what makes Chicago dope for me is just like the whole... The whole, I think the whole vibe from Chicago is just like, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. Because the thing is, I like going to L.A., but I don't think I could live nowhere else but Chicago. I was going to ask you that. Would you want to move to L.A.? I I would move to L.A., Mm -hmm. but it's just like, oh, no. Like, I always, anytime I be so so long, I miss Chicago. Mm. Oh, you miss it? Not the winners, though, of course. I see all matter with us. Oh, so I don't matter with us. And it's just like Chicago's so familiar for me. It's just like I love being here because it's familiar. Like everybody else be like, whoa, whoa, but it's familiar. Everywhere I got places that kill people and do shit like right. that. And I don't know that I'm at this restaurant and they kill people. But see, in Chicago, I know. <laughs> right. When I walk in this restaurant, yeah. they do be fucking around shooting yeah. sometimes when I know. like, mm. So I'm going to go order my food. I'm going to sit my ass in the car. LA, I better stood my ass in the restaurant. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? And I came through doing some stupid shit. So I like Chicago, so it's familiar. So I think it's the familiar see that makes Chicago a vibe for me. Just the, just the people, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like, the, the people here sometimes can be funny as hell, man. It's just like... <laughs> Man, it's just like the whole, like, just how we talk and everything. So I just think it's just the vibe. Because, like, everywhere else, though, it's just kind of, they don't give that same type of vibe. Like, Chicago just feel like home, though, because it's it's home. So I don't really know what makes it, like, cool. But that's what makes it cool for me is just the familiarness Mm -hmm. of just the whole, like, how familiar it is to me. Like, anywhere in Chicago, I don't give a fuck if I'm in the burbs. Downtown, out south, out west, like I know, like I know where I'm at, I know what I'm doing, I know what's finna go on, I know what will go on, like <laughs> so yeah, it's just it's just that. Like and I know, like somebody, yo, check it out, like right. you you know what's going on. LA, you better check it out. Like <laughs> got your ass hit upside your head. So it's just I think it's just the familiarness that I like. I like that it's like it's street over there. As soon as you cross the street, yep. that shit changed. Yep. Like, right. yep. so you know, it's just, mm-hmm. it's just yeah. that. I think that's what I like. And of course, like you know, just the the food and shit. The food cool, even though I'm not no foodie like that. <laughs> <laughs> when I go other places and be trying different shit, yeah, man, yeah. Look, yeah. miss that Chicago. You gonna food. miss yeah. that. Chicken and pizza here, yeah. <laughs> cause that chicken and pizza elsewhere is not gonna taste like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. gonna taste like it. So you know. It's just that, yeah, I fuck with that, yeah. You see, 
Yeah, that's he, we went we went through everything, yeah. man. I think we could wrap it up. When uh when is it, when you work on the next project? You got a Yeah. Uh, I don't got a title for it, but I am working on a project to uh release it on Valentine's Day. Oh. That's right around the corner. That's right. Man. That's fucking a month away. Yeah, uh, the Lifetime, the interlude that you was talking about, that video might be driving on my birthday, which is on the 19th of this month. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, any uh, birthday, uh, what, what are we doing for the birthday? Yeah, I don't know. Everybody would have keep it a secret for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel back on the shit. I ain't no really big birthday type of guy. I just <laughs> really tell it, like, just go with the vibe. I really be, I'd have been in the studio for the past, like, three to four birthdays I had. That's mm. all I have. Wrote it like studio and studio and studio. That's so dope, dope. that motherfucker said they doing dope. something for me. So I just I just gotta sit back and just watch. I guess you always ask what mama mentality is. Like, kind of mama mentality. <laughs> yeah, yeah so I like studio. fuck it, sit back. Just fuck it, no matter what day it is. Yeah, you look like uh, Ruddy off of Razor Cane. So you better watch. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out out here. They 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 on your ass, man. <laughs> Hey. You done killed hey. your brother, man. Hey, they don't no spoil them. Hey. Hey, that was the other episode, so they saw it already. Hey, so I'm just hey, saying. Okay, when I'm watching this show, I say this about a lot of shows, but I'm watching this show, I'm like, yeah. I could have played this role. Yeah. Man. You, I got glass, I could be serious. You definitely could have played that role. They definitely going to be on your <laughs> ass, though. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yo, Neil Gang, we appreciate you, man. Man, I appreciate y'all, Thank bro, you, man. Ricky Sports Sh- Life and Hip Hop. Sports Life and Hip Hop, appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Anytime. Yeah. I got pull up, I pull up, come get it. I've been giving you good dick and you think my heart come with it. I'm putting my life on that angle and I ain't going out one with it. Told her I'm gon' fuck till she come, then I'm done with it. Sleep with your pussy, I didn't waking up my songs in it. Oh yeah.